Hello! Dear students, my name is Ada Vladimirovna and today I want to introduce you the lecture Pulse and Blood Pressure. This is a very important topic for your practical skills, uh, Pulse and Blood Pressure. Uh, so, aim of the lecture is to obtain knowledge and experience in pulse examination technique, to explain the mechanism of arterial pulse changes, to evaluate arterial pulse changes, to use correctly the Latin terminology, to conduct arterial pressure examination on the upper extremities, to provide interpretation of data obtained during pulse examination, to determine the normal limits of blood pressure, to measure blood pressure methodically accurately, and to classify the level of blood pressure in the examinative fashion. This is the plan of the lecture. You can see that we will talk about the pulse, the vessels which are available to determine the properties of the pulse, properties of the pulse, a variant of vessel wall properties, a different pathological types of pulse, some venous pulse. Uh, we will talk about classification of hypertension, phase of Karatkov tones and basic rules for blood pressure measurement. So, what is a pulse? Pulse it is a vasodilatation which is periodic and synchronized with the activity of the heart. It's visually noticeable or perceptible by fingers. Kind of the pulse are arterial, capillary and venous. Uh, what gives us about uh, research of arterial pulse? It is uh, activity of the heart, properties of arterial wall, high blood pressure, any damage of heart valves, an increase of body temperature and condition of the nervous system. So, uh, vessels which are available to determine the properties of the pulse. First of all, it is a radial artery. Next, we will check the pulse at the brachial artery. At the axillary artery, at the superficial temporal artery, you could see at the picture, the abdominal aorta, femoral artery, popliteal artery, tibial artery, and the back artery of foot. So, look at the picture. Uh, see at the left side uh, how to correctly you should measure the pulse, not like at the right side, please. This how we measure pulse on the radial artery. So, we have 12 properties of the pulse. First of all, we should check the sameness. In normal case, it equal pulsus equalis. The next property, it is the rhythm. Uh, pulse should be rhythmic, pulsus regularis. Frequency, remember that normal frequency from 60 to 90 beats per minute. Tension, it should be moderate. By feeling, it should be satisfactory. By size, average. Speed, also average. The uniformity should be pulsus equabilis, uniform, uh, decrotic of pulse, lability, paradoxical of pulse and deficiency, it shouldn't be um, like this, so should be not decrotic, not label, not paradoxical and not deficient. Let's talk about pulsus difference. It uh, could be during abnormalities position um, of one of the radial artery. It could be also during narrowing of the one radial, brachial and subclavian arteries. For example, uh, after scars, uh, if patient have enlarged lymph nodes, mediastinal tumor, retrostinal goiter, aortic aneurysm, uh, symptom popova severe, what we call it, it's during increase in the left atrium with mitral stenosis. Also, during atherosclerosis and inflammation at the site of the aortic arc discharge of large uh, branches. Also, it could be during Takayasu disease. Uh, variants of vessel wall properties. Remember that in normal case it should be soft and elastic. If you feel that it is soft but not elastic, it indicates a decrease in muscle tone of the wall, for example, during fever. If you feel that it is rigid and elastic, it's indicating increased arterial muscle tone that occurs or increased existability of mobile vessel center or when intraarterial blood pressure is high. If you feel that it is rigid but not elastic, it indicates progress in her connective tissue or some calcium deposits, sclerosis, sometimes palpable as the atherosclerotic rosary. So, what is the factor? The effect of the heart rate in healthy people. Uh, remember that in women uh, pulse uh, more than 7-8 beats uh, than in men. Age, of course, you know from pediatrics that a newborn's pulse uh, is 130-150 beats per minute and it is normal. With age, the frequency of pulse falls in 20 years, it corresponds uh, to 60-90 beats per minute and after 60 years, it's sometimes slightly accelerated. Hi, remember that at the same gender and age of persons in tall persons, pulse less frequently than people with average high. 
physical activity of course increase pulse you know if you will go to the gym and do some cardio um, you will have uh, a lot of beats per minute so during physical activity the frequency pulse can reach 120 even 150 per beats per minute in a healthy heart frequency of pulse returns to normal after five eight minutes emotions of course um, emotions any mental excitement leads to acceleration of pulse especially before your examination body position in the transition from lying to standing position pulse become faster on four six beats per minute to standing plus six eight beats in back case it slows down digestion digestion is very pleasure for us so during digestion pulse is accelerated Face of breath also is uh, accelerated pulse during inspiration and in time of exhalation it slowed down, remember. In normal case is an almost cough palpable. In physiological conditions the ratio of pulse rate and respiratory rate is 4 to 1. So let's talk about rapid pulse, it's uh, more than 90 beats per minute, it's also called tachycardia and also in Latin pulsus frequens. Remember, you should know Latin, it is very necessary for doctors. So, um, rule of Libermeister, increase of the body temperature also uh, accelerates the level of blood pressure. So, with an increase in on 1 degree, in pulse rate is accelerated in 8-10 beats per minute. Remember, rule of Libermeister. Acute and chronic heart disease, endocarditis, myocarditis, pericarditis, arrhythmia also could lead to increasing of pulse. Graves disease, tuberculosis, anemia, especially acute anemia, acute attack of pain, poison action and dry action also could lead to pulsus frequens. Uh, uh, what about pulsus rarus or rare pulse or we call it bradycardia less than 60 beats per minute? It could be during heart block, narrowing of the aorta, cachexia, starvation, jaundice, sometimes during shock, uh, uh, drug actions and myxedema. Um, also, um, pulsus durus, it's intense of heart pulse, it could be during hypertension, symptomatic hypertension and atherosclerosis. Soft pulse, we call it pulsus mollis, it could be during hypertension, myocardial infection, shock, collapse and sometimes could uh, be with fever. Full or large feeling pulse, pulsus plenus. Uh, it could be during aortic valve insufficiency, hypertension, hyperthyroidism, symptomatic arterial hypertension. Uh, if you feel empty or weak feeling pulse, it's called pulsus vacuus. It could be during aortic stenosis, syncope, shock, collapse, during stenosis of mitral orifice, heart failure and during anemia. Large and high pulse, it's called also pulsus magnus, cell pultus altus, could be during aortic valve insufficiency, tyrotoxicosis, sometimes with fever. As a picture, you could see sphygmogram that uh, show you the different variants of uh, pulse. Uh, if you feel small or low, a low pulse, it's, cool, uh, it's called pulsus parus or pulsus humilis. It could be during aortic and mitral stenosis. 3D pulse, we call it pulsus filiformis, acute heart failure, massive blood loss, and you feel it, could feel it during shock and collapse. Abrupt pulse, pulsus celler, uh, we could see during aortic valve insufficiency, fever, Graves' disease, excitation, adrenaline injection. Um, also, you could see at the picture at the right side uh, by sphygmogram this variants of pulse. Slow pulse, pulsus tardus, we could feel during aortic stenosis and strong degree of aortic sclerosis. Unequal pulse, pulsus inequabilis. We could feel during atrial fibrillation and extra systoles. In rare cases, during normal rhythm can be alternated in large and small pulse waves, and this pulse uh, called uh, alternating pulsus alternance, and it happens in severe myocardial damage. In the sphygmogram, um, you could see it. Uh, decrotic of the pulse, pulsus decroticus, we could feel during some infectious disease of antifoid, uh, during high body temperature, reduce of the tone of arterial muscle, um, neurogenic origin. Labial pulse, uh, pulsus labilis, in convalescence could be after serious infectious diseases, in neurotic and in, uh, you could feel it during Graves' disease. Paradoxical of pul pulse, pulsus paradoxus, uh, we could feel during exudative pericarditis, call a sense of pericardium leaves, during mediastinal tumor, during large pleural effusions and also during pneumothorax. Deficiency of pulse we could feel during atrial fibrillation, extracystals alternating pulse. So, venous pulse in normal case should be negative, but 
you could feel positive value of pulse during tricuspid valve insufficiency, sharp weakening and enlargement of the right atrium for the stagnation on blood in it, simultaneous reduction of the atrial ventricles in the complete atrioventricular block during atrial fibrillation and during ventricular extrasystoles. So the next part of the lection is um, blood pressure and hypertension. So classification of hypertension du uh, during um, uh, uh, European Society of Cardiology Congress at uh, 2018 year uh, decides that we have these categories of um, no uh, normal blood pressure and categories of hypertension. So look to the picture we have optimal normal and normal high categories of systolic and diastolic blood pressure also hypertension starts from 130 uh, 140 um, millimeters of hydrogen so if you see that patient have 140 to 159 it's systolic blood pressure millimeters of hydrogen and uh, his diastolic blood pressure is from 90 to 91 patient have first degree of hypertension we call it also soft second degree starts from 160 to 179 it's systolic blood pressure and from 100 to 100 9 diastolic blood pressure and also third degree it's a severe hypertension it starts from it is when patient have more than 180 um, millimeters of hydrogen systolic blood pressure and uh, more than 110 um, diastolic blood pressure also patient could have isolated systolic hypertension when rise only uh, systolic blood pressure higher than 100 40 millimeters. Uh, so please look, um, American College of Cardiology also have their own classification, but we use only European Society of Cardiology classification because hypertension at the America start from 130 uh, millimeters of hydrogen systolic blood pressure. So from what depends the blood pressure? It is the amount of blood that enter in vessel system per unit time. Also value of the outflow of blood through precapillary channel. Also capacity of circulatory system, tension of the walls of blood vessels and blood viscosity. Here is a picture you could see the face of Karat Koftons. It was our famous doctor. Um, uh, he filled, yes, he opened the five tones of Karat Kof. It's the beads that you hear during measurement of blood pressure. So first, uh, it's occurrence of tones on artery. Second, tones become louder and join noise. Third, maximum sonority of tones and disappearance of noises. Fourth, attenuation and disappearance of tones and fifth disappearance of tones what is the basic rules for blood pressure measurement it is very necessary that your room should be quiet and warm measure blood pressure in the brachial artery in primary examination and in artery of lower limbs lying and sitting especially in elderly people before measurement blood pressure patient should rest 10 15 minutes sitting or lying Shoulders should be clear of clothes and it must be based at the level of heart. The muscles should be relaxed. The middle of the cup should be at the level of the fourth intercostal space of the passion in the sitting position or at linea axillaris media line. In the position below the heart, blood pressure overestimated. Remember, if above, reduced. Also, uh, you should ask about um, the coffee and the nicotine. If patients smoke or drink coffee 30 minutes before your measurement, it's very necessary for you. Also, at this picture, you could see how to measure blood pressure at the line and in the sitting position. Remember also that the feet of the patient should be on the floor. Uh, the width of the calf also have a big role. It should be at 40% of the circumference shoulder, 12-14 cm, and the length of pneumo camera should be 18-26 uh, cm. If you use too narrow calf, it causes uh, a, a false overestimation of blood pressure and too wide or ununderstatement. So you should have, if your doctor of the elderly uh, patient, uh, not of the elderly, uh, if you a physician, yes, of the um, patients, you should have two calf, yes, one standard and uh, one should be wide. Patient during pressure measurement shouldn't talk and do not monitor the pressure measurement, of course. Calf it, uh, cough rapidly, pump up to pressure, 30 mm hydrogen higher than rate of the extension, and slowly, with rapid 2 mm of hydrogen, let out air. Blood pressure should be measured twice, with an interval not less than 3 minutes, without removing the cuff, of course. Then calculate the average of two measurements. Thanks for your attention. Have a good day.